All right, guys, so we got to tear this apart here because I want to replace the bearings in this. Plus, I don't really know how, how much water was in this. So we're kind of just doing an inspection on this. So I want to tear it apart, but I want to show you guys how we're going to do it. Uh, the first thing I notice is this stuff here falls off pretty easy, but that doesn't. So we're gonna have to take this nut off in here in order to do that. We're gonna go to the vise. All right, so first thing I wanna make mention is this bearing that fell off the bottom also had this little shim on it. So be aware if you have a shim on yours, you don't lose it. Now, next thing I did is I just put two by fours in the vise and I clamped on this gear and then I'm sticking the shifter mechanism down in that gear. So now this is solid with that gear. So hopefully if I just give it some quick ugga duggas on this, it'll pull that off. All right, so that came right off. Oh, that came right off too. All right, so right now I've got it kind of squeezing on the gear and this part right here, the round aluminum piece, but I don't have a ton of pressure on it. Up here though, this looks like a nut. All right, so I don't recommend you go buy this. This is a tool for a clutch on a snowmobile and the hex actually fits pretty much dead nuts, which is awesome for me because this isn't gonna cost me anything to get apart. For you though, what you might wanna do is try to find a nut that kind of fits down in here and then maybe stick a bolt that's close to this big around and then weld it, weld the bolt into here and then use this as a wrench. But I already have this, so I'm going to just take a wrench and try to spin that out. I don't know if it's left-handed or right-handed. Let's try going lefty-loosey. All right, so this is a correct-handed nut. Sometimes I do goofy shit on these weird things. And that also came right out, which is equally as sweet. All right, so there is a shim in between here. All right, so now there's another nut down in here, but it's like a spanner nut kind of type of thing. And it's like way in there. It's like, I don't know, inch and a half, two inches deep in there. All right, so I got it, but let me show you this contraption I made to get it. This right here is the nut. That right there is a pair of long needle nose pliers. The duck bill vice grips are basically keeping it so that the two things don't twist like this. Kind of like if you have needle nose vice grips, sometimes you try to twist with them, they'll fold. So I had the duck bill vice grips on there to try to help it so they wouldn't twist over each other. And then I've got this spread open just far enough that it will fit in here, like that basically, and I have the pliers in the vise. All right, so it was all set up like that. My biggest breakthrough was, was I was trying to lefty loosen it and I got it to move, but it felt like it got a little tighter. So I was like, oh shit, so I went the other way. So this was in here like this, it was just sitting on there. I used this shift piece and stuck it in there, and then I took my breaker bar and laid it on top of that. And then I was using this to go like this and really pry on it. So that's how I got that broke loose without proper Yamaha tools, I'm assuming. Once I got it broke free, it just kind of spun right off. And then this gear here also popped right out. We had to do all of that so that we can get this bearing here, or actually this nut here off, so we can get this bearing here out. Maybe I should just try hammering a punch for this. This one is the right way. Lefty is loosey on this one. So needless to say, this entire job is a rather high skill level job. If all you have is like a hundred piece craftsman toolkit, you're probably not gonna get this. I could be wrong. If you do, then kudos to you. You are way more of a mechanic than I am. Should be able to just tap that out now. All right, finally, now we've got this all the way apart. 